Okay, we've got a block on a hill. At least from rest, we want to figure out what is the normal force here. So let me, is it on pin? No. Add notes, add notes. Okay. Um, so if we do a little free body here, we've got um, our normal force is pushing down because it comes from the surface. Um, we've got our gravity also pushing down. Then we have our centripetal force holding us up. So we need to find the centripetal force, subtract the gravity, and what's left is the normal force. Uh, the centripetal force equals mv squared over r. The mass they gave us, the radius they gave us, they didn't give us the velocity. So you need to do some energy stuff to figure out the velocity. So at the beginning, it's all gravitational. And then when we're here, it's gravitational and kinetic. It's just like less gravitational. A lot of people think you can only have one kind of energy at a time, and that's not true. Uh, you can have two. So I'm going to do mgh. Uh, this h, I'm going to put a subscript, ooh, a subscript for capital A for at point A. And then here I'm going to go mgh, but this subscript I'll put b, so we know we're talking about when we're over here, um, plus one half mv squared. Uh, since each of the terms has a mass, we can go ahead and cancel out the mass. All right, so 9.8 is gravity. The height at point A is 20. Are we in meters? We're in meters, okay. Uh, the height at point B is eight, yeah. Plus one at V squared. So we got one equation with one unknown. We can solve this. 9.8 times 20. I'll go a little slower than normal. So this problem doesn't take that long. 196, 9.8 times eight. That's 78.4 plus one half v squared. So subtract the 78.4 from both sides. 117.6. To get rid of that two, multiply both sides by two. And then square root what you get. So you get v by itself. We get velocity is 15.34. Okay. Um, so let's plug that in here to find what our centripetal force is. The mass is 0.2, the velocity is 15.34, and the radius is 4. Be sure you square that. Okay, so I want to square that times 0.2 divided by 4. 11.76. Okay. It'd be really tempting to circle D and go, we did it. Um, but then asking what's the centripetal force, they ask what's the normal force? What's the normal force? Um, so let's keep going. So we need to find the gravitational force and then subtract it. We're almost done. Um, so Fg, that's mass times gravity when we're near the surface of the Earth. The mass is 0.2, g is 9.8. So just gravity, it's 1.96. Also attempting wrong answer choice. Um, so what you need to do is you need to do up minus down to get what's left. So we do 11.76 minus 1.96. That gets us 9.8. Right? It says up minus down minus the other down. Those should balance out. Those should equal zero. So centripetal force equals normal plus gravity. So if you want to get normal, you got to do centripetal minus gravity. So centripetal is 11.76. Um, gravity is 1.96. And that's how we got 9.8 is our normal force. Okay.